Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to hook maggots and I can say that maggots are one of the best fishing baits that you can use in salt water and freshwater fishing it's much better for fresh water but you can catch lots of fish in salt water as well like I'm using for mullets usually but you can catch other minnows and bream, whiting, flathead with them uh, what you need to know, you need to know to recognize like the head of the maggot that's this black part and this is the bottom of the maggot so when you want to hook a maggot uh, you, you will not do it for the body, for the head or, or similar because there is no point the maggot gonna die when you hook straight away if you hook properly, the maggot is going to stay alive uh, in the water and for a while, but you see, you need to just break the skin of the worm of this maggot, like this and put the hook through the skin so, you see how it looks, wriggling, wriggling and that's like the most important to attract the fish um, it will stay alive for uh, for uh, 10 minutes for sure in the water maybe longer and uh, it's a good bait because the fish can't uh, uh, take it out because he's very uh, elastic so fish can take off the bite that easy to not get hooked yeah, uh, this is small hook, this is something that you can use like for minnows. You see how my hook is bent from the big mallets. Yeah, that bent my hook. Worms so for bigger fish, my hook. When you want to catch some carp, perch, catfish, trout, you need to put more worms. So, technique is the same, you are going through the bottom part of the worm, through the skin, which leaves your worm alive and very active, that's gonna attract fish. Here in Australia you can't really buy worms, you need to produce your own to breed them. It it could be a bit of hassle if you don't know how to do it and could be very stinky but it's worth it because this is top bait you know and there is no fish that can resist really this awesome bait thanks for watching how to fish channel and see you soon bye bye